Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And to all of my returning OGs, what's up, y'all? So welcome to February 2020, yeah? A very, very happy birthday to all my Aquarians out there. And I also want to wish a happy birthday to the February Pisceans. We will be moving into your season next, yes? So um, with that said, I do want to mention, first of all, I want to say that this is the intro and you will find a, um, a timestamp pinned in the comments section that will get you straight to the reading. So if you're watching multiple readings and you don't want to listen to the intro over and over again, you can use that timestamp. I do recommend, however, that everybody listen to the intro at least once because there is some information that you may really need or may be privy to, may want to be privy to, that you would miss had you not listened to the intro. Yeah. So with this being Aquarius season, I do want to mention that the reading for Aquarius could very well be a collective energy, a collective reading. However, it is intended to be for those who are looking for guidance guidance for the sign of Aquarius because we are in that season. I do feel like this could be a reading for you generally. So maybe you might want to watch that reading just to see how it applies to you and what it could mean for your life moving through Aquarius season, just like I did with Capricorn last month, um, even though I did mention that maybe I wanted to do a separate reading so that your readings don't get hijacked with collective energy. Hi <laughs> um, it didn't necessarily happen that way this month. I'll see. Um, but if you guys if you guys find that you know you might want an actual reading please let me know for the month of, or for the season that we're moving in i would love to know i'd love to hear that from you yeah um okay so these these readings are general and they are timeless so because they're general readings um you know just take what resonates everything is not going to resonate for everyone and this may not even be the reason for you if if you're hearing listening to this and it's just not fitting it's not making sense then please don't try and fit anything into your life that doesn't belong there naturally okay and also keep in mind that this is a general reading i'm channeling for thousands of people so um you know not everything is going to necessarily resonate with you all the time okay so just keep that in mind also these readings are timeless so just because it is dated for the month of february and i'm channeling energies for the messages for the month of february for you it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you during the month of february this could be messages that come forward to you that spirit wants you to know at this time but it's not something that doesn't actually manifest or happen for some time down the road okay so just keep that in mind i am available for private readings all the information is found in the description box below this video um, you can also find me on uh, social media. I'm on Facebook at Divine Conversations 2711. I'm also on Instagram at Divine underscore Conversations. I do welcome you to reach out to me there. However, if you are looking to book a personal reading, I do not recommend that you use Facebook. Um, I don't even really recommend that you use Instagram. However, Instagram is a more viable option. I am able to get to the messages more quickly, but my dm situation is just full of all kinds of messages so there's still a possibility that i might miss your inquiry and with that said even if you were to say to reach out on instagram for a personal reading i'm still going to defer you back to email so if you would like to get a personal reading with me check the description box below my email can be found there along with all of the readings that i offer their description and their prices and then email me directly. My email address is divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. But again, that can be found in the description box. Again, I am going to, even if you were to reach out on Instagram, I am still going to defer to your email address because I would at least need your email address to send you an invoice for the reading. So you're better off just skipping a step and emailing me, emailing me directly and I'll get you set up for a personal reading. Yeah? Cool. So the Oracle deck that we're using for this month is the Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. I really, really enjoyed using this this um, this deck this month. Um, it was a deck that was provided by a viewer. Thank you so much for sending this in. I really appreciate it. For those of you that are interested in donating Oracle decks or Tarot decks that you would like to see used on the channel, I do have a PO box that the information for that can be found in the description box as well. Um, if you are going to send a tarot or oracle deck, you might just want to email me really quick and really and check in to see if I have that deck yet, um, so that you know we're not you're not kind of wasting money sending a repeat deck. Okay, um, but the one thing I want to say about this deck is that 
uh, of this Oracle deck is that the author speaks in first person kind of often. So just keep that in mind when I'm saying, when I'm reading through the, the, the definition on the, in the book and I'm speaking, I'm saying things like I, it's coming from the perspective of the author herself. Okay. It's not me speaking personally. It's the author and her narrative. It's sometimes it's in the first person, but it's great. I mean, it still worked really well. The messages were beautiful for that. So I'm excited to, for you to guys, for you guys to see them. And for those of you that are new to the channel and are wondering, I'm not the type of reader that's looking into the situation to be nosy. My intention with these readings here is to bring forward the best messages for you that you need to hear at this time so that you can make a better decision for your life moving forward so that you can have a greater opportunity to be more discerning for your life and for the where you want to go and potentially what could be coming on down the pipeline for you. If at any moment you find that the, something is resonating with you and you don't quite like the way that sounds, you don't want to continue manifesting with that or manifesting that, you have the opportunity to change that manifestation by changing your thought process, then changing your beliefs and changing your alignment to the situation, okay? So just keep in mind, for those of you that are here trying to snoop, trying to get into people's minds, thinking that I'm trying to get into somebody's head, I'm not your guy, all right? There are plenty of people that are out here that may be doing that, but I'm not here for that. Also understand that I do not base my channelings on love specifically. If love comes out, then love comes out. I am not resistant to that. However, if you're looking for specific love readings, then this is probably not the, the channel for you. I do have moments where I will do uh, you know, a love live session here or there, but ultimately the focus of my channel or the focus of Divine Conversation is to bring you greater guidance and understanding about, well, to bring you greater guidance, of, or, I'm sorry, <laughs> to bring you greater understanding about what is going on in your life, the energies that are surrounding you, and then bringing you guidance in, in terms of handling those energies and making the best decisions for yourselves. Yes? Okay, I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Mwah. Hello there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for February 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get straight into your pre-shuffle energies. Overall energy for you, Capricorn, is none other than the Two of Cups. So uh, uh, I'm hearing divine union is at play here. So look, don't get caught up on the label. Whether you're on a twin flame journey or not, it doesn't matter. Divine union is accessible to everybody, okay? This could either be the divine union of you and an external counterpart, but ultimately I really do feel like that hinges on um, the divine union of self within, okay? Between the masculine and the feminine energies within yourself, all right? So the rest of the cards are give play right into that. You have the, uh, the hanged man, the four of wands, the knight of pentacles, and temperance. So I, I'm hearing things like, this is exactly where you want to be. And as a Capricorn, you are, you are very stable. You are very grounded. You are very secure. I mean, yes, you are a cardinal sign, so you're not afraid to be a trailblazer, but also being the practical earth sign that you are, there still is a level of fixed energy. I guess what could be perceived as fixed energy for you. I just... Well, maybe that maybe I'm not saying that correctly, but what I'm picking up on here is this this energy of stability represented by the Four of Wands and patience, all represented by uh, Temperance and the Knight of Pentacles. I just feel like you're in a, you might be finding yourself finally in a, a mind space or an energetic state in which you're stable, you're grounded, you have your vision, you have your trajectory, and you're slowly but surely taking step by step by step to get there. And again, I just get this sense of like, this is exactly where you want to be. It could be an energy where things may have been really chaotic for you in your life in the past, which was totally not something that you are anywhere near trying to be in, being a part of, right? But now you've found this sense of internal peace and internal balance and stability and groundedness that is allowing you to move forward confidently towards whatever it is you desire. Again, this could be a romantic relationship, like say in the external, but ultimately I really personally feel like that hinges on your own sense of internal balance. And yeah, you really could be moving towards even if your focus right now is internal, you really could be moving towards some sort of partnership or union because I did just see 222 <laughs> on the counter there. 
the only other thing that I want to say was with this hanged man here, this is like a sense of enlightenment. Okay, where you may have been stuck in the past, now you see something differently, and that's that's provided you with um, a sense of stability represented by the Four of Wands. And this stability that's represented by the Four of Wands is very much spiritual in nature, okay? This is internal foundation that's allowing you to just be in this confident energy to move forward slowly but surely to, towards what it is you truly desire, what it is you truly want, yeah? Okay. All right, Capricorn, this is a great way to start off your month. My camera seems to be freaking out on me at the moment, but that's okay. We're just going to shuffle the energies a little bit. And then we'll get into the rest of your reading, Capricorn. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. I'm going to try and get my camera to focus. Come on, you. Well, you know what's funny? I'm trying to get my camera to focus here. Um, but what's on the back of the, on the bottom of the deck right now for you? The star. Beautiful. Following your intuition, following higher guidance, following the wisdom of the universe, and maybe not necessarily knowing exactly all the details of how to get there, but you're moving forward nonetheless. And there's wish fulfillment and also healing that's involved with that. And that's beautiful. And it's also the star is a very balanced energy for me because of, you know, how this woman or this feminine figure here is pouring water into you know, this pond or this body of water here, but it also pouring it onto the ground. And to me, that's also bringing up energies of fertility. Okay. Excellent, Cappy. Let's see what else we have for you here. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for oral for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of February, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to give this five shuffles for you, but I want to share what I just heard. I just heard Capricorn energy is strong, vibrant, powerful, and I want to say something like fun-loving or something like that. Or it's just like there's a playfulness to you right now that's, that might be a little rare. You might be a, the, the type of energy or the person that's been just very serious for so long, but now that you've found this sense of internal balance, or at least you're in the process, maybe, of finding this sense of internal balance, it's allowing you to be a lot more playful and jovial and fun-loving because you're not so stressed by all some by like the burdens that may have been a problem for you in the past. All right, Cap, look at you. Okay, five shuffles, one. For my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of February 2020. Two. This is a three. Four. And five. For my Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of February 2020. All righty, Capricorn. Overall energy, we've got, ooh, the Four of Pentacles. Now, this could be one of two things. One, it could be you're still holding on to dear life, holding on to something for dear life, but I kind of feel like if you're holding on to something, it's in terms of, in service of your stability, your foundation, the, the the greater sense of grounding that you may have come into recently. There also could be an energy of releasing some things. However, I really feel like you're just really holding your ground. I mean, you found this sense of, of foundation and stability that was also represented by the Four of Wands. That was on an internal spiritual nature or a spiritual tip. But now here in the physical, you're really holding that grounding or that center. And ultimately, that would be a good thing. Underneath the Four of Pentacles, okay, well, you have the Eight of Cups. All right, so you're walking away from something. And I guess it's it's your sense of balance or your sense of um, stability or foundation here that's giving you the, the power to be able to walk away from something. Maybe even this could be, maybe you are walking towards that Two of Cups to complete your Ten, that Two of Cups that came out in the pre-shuffle. 
Okay. Underneath the Eight of Cups. Oh, you've got the Four of Wands again, Cap. So yeah, you're really holding your, your firm spiritual foundation, this fir firm sense of internal foundation that you've come into recently. And underneath the Four of Wands, oh, yes, the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, oh man, you are really standing, standing in your own power, Capricorn. Being true to yourself, honoring your heart's desires, honoring what it is you truly desire or truly want to do. There may be a sense of no longer going against the grain right now, and going against the grain would be going against your own heart or your truest forms of desires. There could be an energy of not really conforming to the status quo any longer and really stepping out on your own. And especially with this Eight of Cups energy, it could be an energy of you leaving the past behind or all the circumstances that you've worked so hard to build for yourself. But I feel like if you were building things, it was really on behalf of others. It wasn't really something that you were truly invested in. And now that you've found this, and, and please don't get me wrong, that's not to say that you weren't loyal to the situation. That doesn't mean that you weren't um, fully active in it and working very hard towards that goal. It was a common goal, but it wasn't a goal that you truly desired to continue to hold within your heart. And now that you have this Four of Wands, Four of, st four of Pentacles stability within your own sense of self, especially with the Nine of Pentacles, that's allowing you to walk away from these Eight Cups that you're now recognizing was never going to develop into a Ten of Cups situation for you because ultimately it wasn't what you truly wanted. And from and For whomever this is for, it feels like you were really just working towards that on behalf of the opinions and the desires of others okay capricorn there's definitely an energy of independent thinking and that's not that i mean capricorn yes you're an earth sign but you're also still a cardinal sign so there's still an energy of trailblazing of doing go of doing something that you know someone uh, trailblazing basically okay okay a deeper sense of self is what i just heard also all right, Cap, let's get into the rest of your reading here. First half, second half of your reading. You could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Take it however it resonates, yeah? First set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. We have the Nine of Wands. Very interesting. Um, you might be in an energy of feeling like you're being attacked or people are coming all at you from a bunch of different um, directions and trying to assert themselves on you, especially if you're walking away from some sort of hive mind mentality or some sort of status quo or maybe something that you have been working on with a bunch of other people like I was describing, and now all of a sudden you're changing your mind and you're going in a new direction, you're really feeling like you're kind of having to defend yourself because there's a bunch of people coming at you like, what the hell are you doing? Who do you think you are? You can't just leave us like this, blah, 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 blah. But ultimately, if it's not in service of your highest good and, and not something that you truly want to be invested in, then there's no reason for you to force yourself to be a part of it. The other thing I'm getting with this Nine of Wands is this has been a pretty tough journey for you, long and arduous, or, you know, it's left you battered and bruised and, you know, you're, you're, you've been persevering. You sure have been persevering, but now it's time to start doing something for yourself, I guess. Nine of Wands is coupled with the Two of Swords. I, I, with this energy, Capricorn, I really feel like you've made up your mind about something and you're not really willing to hear any sort of outside opinion in terms of it. What I'm getting with this Two of Swords energy is like, look, I, uh, no, I've found you've found some sort of sent, sense of mental balance within and you're not trying to be perceptive to anyone else's opinions that may throw you off of that mental balance. This is kind of an energy of denial, but in a sense, I guess it's a good denial because you're not you're you're in denial of what others may have to say about it. You're denying anything that isn't true to you. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading, you have the, the Six of Cups. Beautiful. So this could be a soulmate partnership. This could be you getting back to what it is you truly love. Um, being reminiscent on some things from the past that maybe you have had, had to let go of, were first were forced to let go of, just chose to let go of altogether. Um, but yeah, there could be a soulmate relationship coming into view for you, or at least you could be aligning with this. I'm hearing a divine masculine. You could be aligning with a divine mask, and I just saw two, two, two again. So okay, you could be aligning with a divine masculine counterpart, or you could be a divine masculine counterpart in this situation. Six of Cups is coupled with, ooh, 
Ooh, the King of Pentacles. This could be you, Capricorn, as the King of Pentacles represents an Earth sign. Uh, officially, the King of Pentacles does represent uh, Taurus, but it could represent Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but it also could represent any sign. It doesn't necessarily matter. Um, uh, what I'm hearing is you are the divine masculine in this situation and you are getting yourself into alignment with a soulmate partnership. Again, this is a general reading and that is what I heard. So maybe that's the strongest message that someone needs to hear right now. But also this could be an energy of you aligning with a king of pentacles, like the king to your queen. And again, you don't have to be an earth sign to resonate with that. Okay. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, the ace of cups offering love so i guess there are some if some of you capricorns out there maybe you have a maybe your venus is in capricorn maybe your venus is your your jupiter is in capricorn um venus would represent the wife jupiter would represent the husband so depending on which energetic side of the spectrum you stand on whether you resonate more with masculine energy or feminine energy take that as it resonates okay um, and that doesn't have any to do anything to do with gender it's energy but your challenge, I feel like the challenge here is to offer some sort of love to someone. Because I really kind of do feel like you've already been in this energy of cultivating this sense of self-love. And yet there is a sense of apprehension, maybe even fear around offering a cup of love to someone external to you. Ace of Cups is coupled with the Seven of Pentacles. It's almost as if this is this challenge here is for you is to to harvest that which has blossomed for you. And that harvest could be being in a position to now make some sort of offer to, of, of true unconditional love to someone else, like to, a, to a counterpart, whether that be a divine counterpart or a soulmate, whatnot, whatever, it doesn't matter. But it's like, it's like you've worked so hard and you've cultivated so much and you planted these seeds and you worked diligently to, to nurture them so they could grow. And now they've, they're bearing fruit and, and that fruit could be the advent of love coming into your life, extending that offer of love to someone else. I'm literally seeing your challenge right here, Capricorn, is to pick your harvest. But there's apprehension surrounding that. Maybe fear of the outcome. But hey, there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading. Okay, well, there's the fear. The Nine of Swords. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your fear and apprehension get you down. Nine of Swords is coupled with judgment. Okay, see, look, look, Capricorn. Capricorn, you are being called for something. There is a higher calling here. There is a higher power at play. There's higher wisdom at play. You're ascending. I guess your egos are getting in the way, saying, I don't know about this. This isn't right, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. But if the universe is calling you towards this, if your higher self, God, source, creator, angels, whatnot, 555, five, whatever, whomever you believe in, however you see it, if there's a higher calling here for you, there's no need to fear. The apprehension isn't real. The fear is an illusion. Focus solely on what your soul is calling you to do instead of focusing on the egoic fears that come up with that, okay? You're being called towards something. You have to trust it, Capricorn, because it's coming from a place of higher wisdom and understanding that is far greater in scope than our three-dimensional egoic minds are even capable of comprehending. Not to say that we're not intelligent beings. We are extremely intelligent, but there's still more to it, okay? Don't let your practicality get in the way, Capricorn. Okay, so your second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you have... The Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, satisfaction. Nine of Cups is coupled with the Seven of Wands. So what this is here is like, is you defending a sense of satisfaction or maybe even wish fulfillment that you've stumbled upon, I guess. Um, but also this is, I really feel like this is you protecting yourself in terms of you know, some external circumstances or external influences that wish to do you harm. It's very much a, a, a misery loves company type of energy. It's like you're sitting in this nine of cups state. You're very happy. You're very content with yourself. And maybe even the way that your life has turned out or the way, you, the life, the way that your life looks 
seems right now and you're defending that you're not allowing anything to come in and tarnish that you want to stay in this energy for as long as you possibly can especially if you over the course of your life up until this moment things have been fairly miserable for you for whatever reason okay your second uh, the, the second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here capricorn we have the fool taking a leap of faith, um, moving forward, trusting your intuition is what I heard. Again, if you're, you're being called towards something, Capricorn, you really need to just trust that the universe has your back. The universe, your higher self, your, intu your intuition, your guides, your angels, whomever you connect with, they wouldn't be guiding you in this direction if there wasn't a specific reason for it. Even if it turns out to be just another lesson for you, Ultimately, you are still protected. You are still guided. You, are, you still have the universe at your back. You don't have to worry so much. The fool is coupled with, oh, uh, the chariot. Uh, yes, hunty. So, okay. So chariot is Cancerian energy, potentially. Um, it doesn't have to represent that. I mean, this is you make, moving forward, taking a leap of faith in terms of something that you're really passionate about the, the the chariot is an energy of gaining a sense of balance of the polarities within yourself positive negative good bad light dark masculine and feminine whatever but and and even your emotions bringing that into balance and then allowing that to drive you forward in some sort of new leap of faith again capricorn there is a big calling for you i really feel like your soul is really calling you towards taking some sort of action, making some sort of move, making some sort of change in your life, going after some, some, some sort of relationship or at least a certain form or type of relationship. And you really just need to continue to gather your strength and stay grounded and secure and balanced so that you really can effectively move forward towards this, take this leap of faith, move into this new energy, move into this new journey for yourself. The next chapter if your life, the next phase of your life, if you will your challenge in the second half of your reading here capricorn the empress the challenge here capricorn is to believe in the abundance of the universe believe in your abundance believe in your connection to the abundance of the universe here believe that the universe is in fact all encompassing and unconditionally loving some of you are coming from um an element probably in your childhood the past six of cups that was that has taught you some sense of strong conditions i keep seeing two 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 this is the third time i've seen it for your reading right now okay so balance is key here romantic partnerships also could be something that you're aligning with but i just feel this strong sense of strong conditioning like you aren't lovable like you came from a, a, a background of strongly, strongly conditional love, however that may be represented, whether that's business, career, family, relationships, friendships, anything, okay? But your challenge here is to really break free from that and to understand that the universe is all encompassing, all loving, unconditionally loving, and is, is, is there to nurture and help you. The universe is basically an open, fertile ground for you to create what, exactly whatever it is you desire. But your challenge here is to believe in that, to believe that the universal mother does love and care for you very deeply. Mm -hmm. The empress is coupled with the seven of cups. Okay, now this is good, Capricorn. So with the seven of cups here, this is literally a representation, the seven of cups and the empress, this is literally a representation of the fact that anything is possible. With this, I'm hearing a breeding ground, breeding ground of ideas, bringing, breeding ground of compassion, love, understanding, empathy, okay? But I mean, you could literally create anything you want with this energy, the Empress and the Seven of Cups, anything you want, Capricorn. And it might be your sense of practicality and structure that might be hindering this for you. So that could be why there is a challenge or why this is a challenge for you. But let me tell you something, Cap. This is a this is a fantastic challenge to have because you could literally create anything. I mean, damn, y'all. <laughs> Closing message or potential outcome, Capricorn, in the second half of your reading. You have none other than the star again. Check it out, y'all. Anything is possible. Breeding ground is what I'm hearing. 
Follow your intuition. Follow the wisdom and the guidance of the universe that is calling out to you with judgment here. Let yourself be free. Let your soul be free. Fly into the universe with open arms saying, I'm ready. Let's do this. Like, get your life. Get your motherfucking life, Capricorn, with that. I mean, damn. The star is coupled with... Yes, the three of cups. This is this is definitely being in celebration with the universe. I mean, obviously this can represent a union of body, mind, and spirit, but with the star energy here, this is definitely you collaborating with the universe and celebrating, even the universe celebra celebrating your willingness to collaborate, your willingness to work with the abundance of the universe to create whatever it is you want. I really just feel a very strong feeling of the universe being like, yes, finally, you're with us. We're with you. Let's do this together. Let's work in tandem. Let's be a team. Let's get you what you want, what you've been asking for for so long. But you got to work with us, not against us, because we are not working against you. We are only giving you exactly what it is you allow us to. And your allowance is directly related to your belief systems and the way that you hold your back or the hold yourself back or the ways that you hinder yourself or the ways that a certain level of practicality gets in the way of the organized chaos and beauty of the universe. Yes, that is an oxymoron, oxymoron the organized chaos of the universe. But see, that is, some, that is a concept that our three-dimensional minds are not capable of comprehending. Again, it's not because we're not intelligent creatures. It's just the fact that there is so much vastness out there. That's not what, we're that's not what our three-dimensional minds are designed for, okay? At least comprehending things, something like that, is not what we're designed for. Beautiful energy, Capricorn. Okay, so let's get your oracle guidance now. Last shuffle here for my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of February 2020. Let's get it, y'all. There it is right there. Okay, um, yeah, that, that seems pretty on point. We have card number 21, Waning Gibbous Moon, or I'm sorry, Waning Gibbous 5, Resilience. This is the power to stand up for yourself. This is the ability to say, look, no more of this bullshit. I'm going after what it is I truly want. I have been working tirelessly on behalf of other people, but now it's time for me to take that resilience and put it towards my own goals, my own wishes, my own desires. And again, again, I just saw 222, two, two, but this time it was 2522. Two, two. So it was 2522. Two, two. There was a five in there and five is a number of change. <laughs> okay, Capricorn. Resilience. Making mistakes builds resilience. I have learned my lessons from the mistakes I have made. I stand strong. I am an adult and I act with self-responsibility. Quote here is, I am strong and resilient. And I just saw 2555 five, five now on the counter. Change is happening. Change is absolutely happening for you, Capricorn. As we stretch and expand towards our intentions, we will most likely meet resistance or, wait for it, make mistakes or fail altogether. This is where resilience, confidence, and our inner will come into play. We might ask ourselves, how much do we really want what we are going for? Does what we want align with our needs and values? Are we really devoted to having it? Do we think we are enough? Do we have the strength to keep going? With all of us at some time, well, I'm sorry, while all of us at some time have to go through periods of imbalance and difficulty, even of suffering, it is important we learn to grow and rely on our resilience. This is true power from the inside out. Building our reserves of resilience, this ability, stands, this ability to stand strong and bounce back is something that has, it has its heart wisdom and learning taken from experience. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me say that again. This uh, building our reserves of resilience, this ability to stand strong and bounce back is something that has its heart that sorry, that has at its heart wisdom and learning taken from experience. Having resilience allows us to allows us the solidity and yet the freedom to grow and to take that leap to the next level. 
It allows us to reach higher with a with a stability that makes things less risky and allows us to create with a more with a bit more pleasure. Remember, mistakes are simply information gathering. That's it. The less drama and guilt and shame you attach to them, the better. The experience of failure or mistakes is simply one of learning. That is all. As we move around the lunar cycle and in life, we can see how things may have occurred before and that we have experience in how to handle them. Even if we don't have direct experience, we can build resilience as an insurance policy against being devastated by the opinions of others. While someone might say something nasty about us, when we compare this to what we know to be true about ourselves, it truly has is no great hurt and really is just a piece of information gathering. The companion stone or metal to this is azurite. So if you would like to to work with azurite as you work with this energy of resilience or whatever it is you're going through the month over the month or whenever this reading resonates for you then i recommend that you do so with that said capricorn i hope this was helpful for you and i look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of march and i hope you have a fantastic month yeah take care Mwah. bye